Hello everyone, I'm Red Herring and I'm here to distract you. Welcome back to my Football Manager 2023 series, non-league to top league. Today we have our Champions League uh, game against Juventus and then we have Liverpool in the league. Uh, since you're with me, things are going well, um, but we have signs and players on deadline day. So we did buy uh, this guy from um, City. He's really pretty much was going to be our... DM slash maybe uh, a backup for someone who you can't see has gone over there. Um, and then we made a bid for this guy. We bought him because this deal didn't go through until the last minute. So originally I didn't think we were going to get this guy. Then we So we signed Will. So Will is a little probably a little bit too much money we spent in the end. Um, but the reason we had to do this is we sold. Oh yeah, you could see him. Felix really wanted to go. And we could only get about 70 odd million for him because he was in his last uh, year of his contract. So Felix has gone to um, Man City, annoyingly. Um, and then a couple of other players that we sold. The other big sell it, uh, player we sold uh, was um, Berger. Uh, we had a bid for Berger. We had a bid for the other goalkeeper. Um, who, for some reason's name's gone out of my head. Um, Abraham um, Abraham was like 90 million and I was like oh, do we but I was like he, he is good he is, he is better than um, Berger as well so in the end we sold Berger to Chelsea which again might be a big mistake uh, strengthening two of our rivals um, but that's mainly the big transfers that have gone through football wise we just can carry on after that Reading game we just scored loads and loads of goals a couple of more friendlies in there tighter game against West Ham uh, but then we've just had a very disappointing draw against Arsenal, even though we have had a couple of players there not playing great. Uh, we completely dominated the game. We should have been, we should have won that quite easily, uh, frustratingly. But we have got Juventus and then we've got Liverpool. Uh, the reason I brought you back for these two games, Juventus is the first game of the Champions League. Also, Liverpool look like they might be the team to beat this year. So it's not going to be an easy game um, against Liverpool. And hopefully we can keep that... Uh, Keep that we don't uh, keep undefeated. That's the word I was looking for. I don't know what's the matter with me today. Can I get my words out? Anyway, let's get straight into this Juventus game. Um, see if we can beat them. Uh, yeah, we can pick some extra players, but I've got no one to pick. Uh, you can go on the bench. I uh, Don't worry about that. Um, yeah, we'll continue. Uh, you can have the number four. All right, there we go. I can't be bothered to look for players that struggle enough to try and find... A centre back replacement, and we couldn't even find that because we've got so many injuries. And uh, because with the injuries, I then got suspensions, so some certain, certain people couldn't be picked. Um, anyway, let's just get straight into this. I'm confident we should beat Juventus. I know it's away from home. Uh, they're playing a 4 3 3. They do have Shakiri out on the right wing, for, uh, ex player of ours. Also, I think the, the moron there, the moran, what I want to call him, not moron, um, us playing our 4 3 3 as well. Um, is our ex-player. I think they bought him from Barcelona. Uh, if I remember it correctly. Alright, so let's just get straight into this. Remember, we don't need to win straight away. It would be nice if we get off to a winning start um, and keep the wins going, especially with the big Liverpool game coming up. Um, but remember, we before we have lost a couple of games and still been able to qualify quite comfortably in the end. This shook some encouragement out to the guys. Hopefully this is not going to be a second bad game in a, in a row for us. This is the first time that we've not really got any shots away and on target. Uh, I'm going to demand more this time instead of encouraging. Because we've not really shown a lot here, have we? Usually we've got at least a good few amount of shots away. Oh, there we go. Now it's picked up a little bit. Um, and... SJ is having a terrible game out on that wing as well. That is just an awful, awful showing for you. No, I'm not happy with that. Get out there. Sort yourselves out. <laughs> Draw is not a bad result, but not if we're not showing you anything. Right. Clear it up to SJ. First highlight really of the game, isn't it? And that is just awful. What's he doing? He's been absolutely fine. Until the um, the Arsenal game. International friendlies. Didn't play many games. He played more international friendlies. That was just a poor letting him run like that. How can you think he was offside? 
How can you think he was offside defence? It was miles on. What were they thinking? That's... Oh, he's playing at 6.4. Like, since the international breaks, our players have been awful. I.e. the Arsenal game. I'm berating them because this is just rubbish. This is absolute rubbishness. Wow, you have been pants. Absolutely pants. Um, disappointed in you because you are a better player than that. I know that. White again. Something's wrong with White since uh, coming off. Um, I might have to do this. I might have to risk it and just take White off. I'm not happy with him. We'll give a debut to the player um, who we signed. This is rubbish. This is absolute rubbish. <laughs> I'm not happy with this form going into the the um but typical FM though I did um I did save it come off and then come back on before the Arsenal game so that's probably why uh probably why we're uh, not playing very well because that's what FM does no this is that's not good Tommy's knackered so Claire can come on who else is not playing very well no one really but we can't risk it because of injuries so you're gonna have to put up with it Marvin um shout some encouragement out show something please someone can't I know it doesn't matter that we've lost but it, this is just an awful show in two awful games this has been the Arsenal game and this game we have just not shown up this time I didn't throw the bottle at them last time I'm throwing the bottle at them this this time because that's just rubbish absolute rubbishness you're getting a fine well, there you go. That was a bit disappointing, wasn't it? Because we did just did not show up full stop. Wow. All right. You're getting fined because you played at a 6.2. So you get a week's, a week's fine. Is that two bad games in a row for you? Like, where's this form come from all of a sudden? You're getting a fine as well because that is just absolutely dire. And you're coming off for the next game. can't even do it with him so I'm going to speak about his last game point the finger at him right well that was rubbish wasn't it absolute rubbish don't understand how before I saved we had won all these games conceded one in the league only two what two in the friendlies and then we do this against Arsenal even though we were the better team not a great XG though. And then we've just done that against Juventus, which was absolutely dire. I really hope we show up against Liverpool, because if not, we're going to get our asses kicked. I'll see you at the start of the Liverpool game. Hey there, everyone. Welcome back to the second game of today's episode, uh, which is against Liverpool. Um, as you can see, it's very tight at the top at the moment, so a uh, win would be excellent. Um, I can expect us to probably get a draw out of this since we drew against Arsenal. You'd hope we would get that win because we're away from home. Uh, at home, sorry, not away from home, we're at home. Um, <clears throat> no such changes to the starting 11 apart from Hamzik has now come in uh, because of um, SJ's two bad performances in a row uh, for us. So let's just get into this. Hopefully we can... Um, get that victory that we want it's not going to be easy like i said liverpool seem to be the the team to beat this season uh they showed that a bit last season that they were coming better um this year i think they are looking a lot stronger again um but let's get out there get that win hopefully see our forms dropped off slightly as you can see from our last two fixtures um um, Liverpool are playing they did lose a game there they must have lost in the Champions League as well they're playing a 4-2-3-1 they've got to keep an eye on Bar, um, who looks very dangerous player wish I signed him when I had the chance uh, he just was a cost us quite a bit of money um, so straight away highlight 
to Liverpool. Don't like this at all. Uh, and there's the man I'm talking about, but easy done from um, Paulo. Uh, back to the keeper who tries to find Angelo. Can he win the header? He can't. But that's right, Tommy's onto it. Need a performance from all of our main players. Go on, McKim. Uh, he's got. Be, I think he's on side. I'm very happy with that. I'm not going to celebrate just yet. Till I'm sure uh, they're not even doing the V. Not even doing VAR. Great start that is. Well won by Tommy here. Takes it down nicely. Finds Angelo with a beautiful ball, and then Angelo instead of was a bit worried that he might try and run it too far to the byline, but this time he does cut it across to McKim, and McKim bangs it into the back of the net. Excellent start. Especially seems Chelsea and Man City have just won games as well. <laughs> but I'm happy so far. Next highlight. Still starting with Liverpool. But it started on the last time with Liverpool and we won it back. Um, and we scored. So, White, I do need a little bit of a better performance from you today as well, mate. Uh, position, Dougie, get back. Good. We've won it back. White up to Hamzig. Into McKim. McKim trying to find Hamzig. Who could run on his own. Can he finish it? Tight angle. Oh, save from their keeper. Don't know if that was the correct option from him, but we'll go with it. So, Angelo going to whip the corner in. We've scored a few from corners. Ah, Paulo didn't get up. Hamzig wins the header, finds Angelo, plays all the way back to Marvin. And uh, the highlight ends. Oh, a highlight star of us. Marvin has it, finds Paulo. Finds Hamzig. Hamzig, beautiful ball over to Angelo. No, it's just not quite enough legs on it. Um, we just need to get the ball back. No, Tommy's out of position. So Dougie comes over. All right, White. Oh, good work between the two of you there. Don't mess this up. Nice ball to Hamzig. Finish it. We'll check if he's on because I wasn't 100% sure. Not going to VAR again. Is that 2 0? It's 2 0. Wow. I thought I might have gone to VAR again, but it didn't. Great ball over. Masters of space. Nice touch. Great finish. Keeps probably should have done a little bit better, but I'll take it. We're 2 0 up under 22 minutes. And we're looking a lot better. This is what we were looking like before the Arsenal and Juventus game. We were absolutely dominating teams. Lovely ball from Tommy. Come on, McKim. Finish it off already. And it's the post. 3-0 there. And that would have been absolutely amazing. Liverpool are a good team. So even two goals up isn't always... Uh, a sure thing, but I'm still very happy at the moment. If we can keep it to this, or even if we can find some more. We're completely on top of them, shots-wise. So we're not really a possession-based team, so I'm not too fussed on the possession. I'm just really more concentrating on how many shots we can get off, how much more attacking threat we've been giving them. And this is absolutely amazing. Yes, yeah, keep up the performance. White with a free kick. Goes for goal. Bit too far out on a fault there, really, White. But it's fine. All right, not much now happening from this. All right, we've got the corner. Angelo to whip it to the back post. Theo, not Theo, Theo, I think you call him. I can't know how to say his name. Um, I'm going to call him Theo, if I remember. I might call him Theo now and again by mistake. And he nods that over the bar. Okay, highlight here to Liverpool. Like I said, they get a goal back, it's scary. Hopefully they don't. They've not really been in the game, so it will be a bit frustrating if they do find something. But they are a good team. And it's way over the bar. Nice, nice, nice. Just pushed him out far enough to stop that shot coming over. But another free kick to them. They're starting to get back into the game. This is a bit of a concern. I think I know what we can do, because I've just noticed Cruz is not having the best of games. Oh, here he is, our magic man, and he's bloody scored, and he. Ah, that's annoying. All right. We'll watch the highlight. Bit disappointing. Yeah, I can feel them getting back into this now, even though we've been completely dominant. I can just feel them coming back into this. I don't know why. What can we do to stop that? He's knackered. So James can hopefully come on and just shore things up a little bit. Um, 
that's all we'll do for the minute. Hopefully just bringing in the man who's cost us quite a bit of money just helps shore things up at the back for us. That's his sort of preferred position. All right, Ward has it. All right, play it back to the keeper if you need to. Oh, lovely ball. Is it McKim on side? He is, but he can't get the ball across because he's more left-footed. Finds Ward, drills it in low. What a substitution that turned out to be in the end. And we're 3-1 up now. Lovely. I thought McKim hasn't got a right foot, so he couldn't bend it in. So he's had to take it down a bit more. But he waits patiently, gives it to Ward. Ward drills it low, right into that bottom corner. Keeper might have been slightly uh, unsighted through his defence. Um, but there we go. We've got that two-goal cushion again. Really nice. Let's have a look at fitness concerns. Both the midfield two are knackered. Do I risk it and do... Oh, I haven't got two lots of midfielders. I'm going to leave white on. Might take off Dougie because he's on a yellow as well. I'll do that. And I'll risk it and see if substitutions again. Uh, uh, injuries just in case. But... Lucky Claire, I can see your idea. All right, we've got that. All right, Costa, Gosta, Rogosta, Rogosta has not had a bad game, has he? He's only come on white squad here. Hammers, it got you good. You made up for that mistake there, mate. Nothing where you were looking. Chasing down still, chasing down. Good. McKim, surely. It's the post again. He's <laughs> hit both posts. Now, oh, that is so annoying. Oh, I think we've got this in the bag. That is a lot better performance than it has been against the Juventus performance. Could win that easily, yeah. Well done. All right, Ward up to Hamzig. Nice little burst there. Can he find it in the middle? No, he stops, whips it back to Claire. I am really impressed with this young guy. His stats don't look amazing at the moment, but honestly, in the friendlies, he was on fire. Um, and every game I've seen him play, he's played really well. He's not got a goal. He's got an assist most of the times. And he just looks a great prospect. He seems to be flourishing really well in that Mazzala role. Yeah, I'm really impressed with him. I said, look at his stats. They're okay. They're not like outstanding. There is a few outstanding there, but for being only eighteen, he could be a real good future prospect here at Tottenham. But great result in the end. Completely destroyed. Was not expecting this to be honest with you, especially since that Juventus and that Arsenal game. But we have uh, really, really destroyed them there. We the main man. This man here. Uh, did play and scored a goal. That is a fantastic win for us. So that puts us top of the table. Uh, point clear. Um, hopefully we can start stretching that lead even more. We have got Chelsea coming up soon as well. So again, a win against them would be fantastic. Pushing that lead further on. Um, and then complete. hopefully turn that into complete dominance. Um Two away games coming up. Not easy, but that's a Carabao Cup, so that's not too much to worry about. Um, Schedule-wise, um, I'm not 100% sure where I'm going to come back for. I was thinking around here, because Crystal Palace were our bogey team, um, and they're always a good team, so we may come back somewhere around here. Um, but I'm not 100% sure yet. Just keep a little eye out on the next video to see who is um, there, to see who we, we will be um, coming back for. But as always, uh, thank you for watching. Uh, please don't forget to like, leave a comment and subscribe and I'll catch you again soon.